Researchers in Britain announced this month that a second cancer patient battling HIV is now free of the virus which causes AIDS. The news came 12 years after a similar patient, American Timothy Ray Brown, was treated in Germany and found to be virus free. Both patients required stem cell treatments to treat their cancer, but it turns out the treatment eliminated both the cancer and HIV. The transplants came from donors with a rare genetic mutation which made their blood resistant to HIV. Despite reports from Germany of a potentially successful third case, some doctors are hesitant to say the HIV patients have actually been cured. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He says the particular stem cell transplant is not practical treatment because of the risk and because multiple factors are needed for its success. Even without a proven cure, Fauci says the medical community can galvanize efforts to curb the virus. Our challenge now is to implement that with the people that are not yet on therapy, that could benefit from therapy, and people who are at risk that could benefit from pre-exposure prophylaxis. If we accomplish that, that would be the real breakthrough. Epidemiologist Lisa Fitzpatrick says those infected and those who suspect they may be no longer need fear the future. So the message is get tested for HIV because there is great treatment that's very well tolerated now. It's not like the 80s and 90s when people were dying of AIDS. You don't have to die of AIDS in 2019. Fauci believes virtually eradicating HIV within the United States is a realistic goal. We have 3,007 counties in the United States, and 48 of those counties, plus the District of Columbia and San Juan, Puerto Rico, so 50 locations account for more than 50 percent of all the infections in the United States. So if we could focus on those areas and then distribute it beyond that later on, we feel that within 10 years we could, we could decrease the number of new infections by 90 percent. And in effect, that would be ending the epidemic as we know it. Dr. Fauci says two major HIV vaccine trials underway in Southern Africa could yield results within two years. Robert Raffel, VOA News, Washington.